Hi, do you want to know about exchange rate quotation and its types? Yes, it's here. I am happy to present you the session on exchange rate quotation and its different types. Guys, it's imperative to clearly comprehend this concept so as to have a smooth transactions with foreign nationals. Be it to trade, commerce, education, employment, investment, one must know what is currency quotation and how it matters in all perspective. I am sure this session would certainly enrich your understanding level about currency quotation and methods of currency quotation so that you would have a happy foreign deal in days to come. So with this purpose, I would take you through the concept of currency quotation and different types of currency quotation with simple examples. The currency quotation is the method of exchange between two selected currencies or a pair of currencies. For example, the exchange rate between USD and INR is 75.0201 and 75.0210. I will tell you about these numbers a little later. Before that, we will understand what is this USD and INR. The USD is called as the base currency in the given quote and INR is called as quote currency or offer currency. Here, the base currency is 1 and this base currency is expressed in number of units of code currency. In this example, for 1 US dollar, we have to pay rupees 75.0210 and to get rupees 75.0201, we have to pay 1 dollar. Each country's currency has three letter standard code. The International Organization for Standardization, that is ISO, looks after official and unofficial currencies of different countries and maintains their list under the head ISO 4217 code. Three letter code is made up of two different aspects. The first two letters of the currency code represent that country's internet code and last letter represents the country's currency name. For example, INR. The first two letters IN is the country code of India and the third letter is the Indian currency rupee. Likewise, other countries code UST. US represents the USA and D represents dollar. CAD. CA represents Canada. D represents dollar, Canadian dollar. Likewise, GBP, Japanese yen and Australian dollar. But there are exceptional currencies for which the above method is not applicable. For example, Euro and Swiss franc that is CHF. Besides, we will understand what these numbers and their space are in the given currency code. This currency code is between UST and INR. So you see that there are two rates in this code. The first part of the code 75.0201 is termed as bid rate or the bank buying rate. The second part of this currency code 75.0201 is called as ask rate or offer rate. This is also termed as the bank's selling rate. Please understand one thing here that in the given currency code USD is base currency and INR is code currency. I will explain this with an example. Let us assume that you want 100 US dollar and you go to SBI and SBI gives you this quote. What it means to you? The SBI sells US dollar to you at the rate of rupees 75.0210 which is bank's selling rate. You have to pay rupees 7502 and 10 paise to get 100 US dollar. Further somehow you are left with 50 US dollar. Now you want to convert them to INR. Again you go to SBI and SBI gives you the same quote. Now the SBI buys US dollar from you at rupees 75.0201. It means that for every US dollar SBI will pay you rupees 75.0201 and for 50 US dollar you will get rupees 3751. When you bought US dollar you paid 
paid rupees seventy five point zero two one zero for every US dollar, which is nine paise higher. This difference of nine paise between banks selling rate and buying rate is called as spread or margin or profit for bank. And in fact, this varies from bank to bank or dealer to dealer. Let's also understand the position of these numbers in the given quote. Look at the bid rate. In this rate, seventy five means seventy five rupees. In out of four decimals, first two decimals represent paise. If it is INR, if it is dollar, it is cents. So here it is two paise. And last two decimals are called as pips. So here it is one pip. And this is how we should read the currency quote. And this nine pip difference between bank buying rate and selling rate is called as spread or bank's profit. There are two ways to quote the currency. We discuss them now. The first one is one-way currency quote. What it means then? In one-way currency quote, both bid and ask rates are same. There will not be any spread. The bank sells base currency at its buying rate only. This is not practically possible. Just for understanding, we should know this concept. For example, the exchange rate between US dollar and INR is seventy-five point two five. So we can buy and sell US dollar at this rate, seventy five point two five zero zero. The next one is two way currency quote. In this quote, both bid and ask rates are quoted separately. For example, the currency quote between US dollar and INR is rupees seventy five point two five zero zero and seventy five point two five two five. Here, both bid rate and ask rates are given. The bid rate is seventy five point two five zero zero and ask rate is seventy five point two five two five. The difference between these two rates is point zero zero two five. That is 25 pips, which is also called as spread. So this is what the two-way currency quote. Now we will move on to the discussion of different types of exchange rate quotations. There are three types of exchange rate quotations. The first one is direct quotation, and the second one is indirect quotation, and the last one is cross rates. First, we will discuss about direct quotation. What is this direct quotation? The direct quotation is the price of one unit of foreign currency quoted in terms of home country currency. It means that one unit of foreign currency is expressed in number of units of home country currency. Also, we can tell like this: it is the home country currency that would cost you to buy one unit of foreign currency. For example. The quotation between U.S. dollar and INR, rupees seventy six point four five zero zero, and rupees seventy six point four five two zero, quoted in Mysore is direct quotation for rupee. What this quote indicates? It indicates one unit of foreign currency is expressed in number of units of home country currency. Here, foreign currency is U.S. dollar, that is one, and home country currency is INR, which is. Seventy six point four five zero zero is bid rate and rupees seventy six point four five two zero, which is ask rate. The direct quotation is also called as quotation in European terms. The next one is indirect quotation. The indirect quotation is just a reverse of the direct quotation or the reciprocal of the direct quotation. The direct and indirect quotations are reciprocal of each other. When we take reciprocal of any pairs of currencies, the bid of direct quote becomes ask rate of indirect quote. Likewise, ask rate of direct quote becomes bid rate of indirect quote. So this is what we should understand clearly. Then what is indirect quote? The indirect quote is the price of one unit of home country currency quoted in terms of foreign currency. It means one unit of home country currency is expressed in number of unit of foreign country currency. Also, it is the foreign currency that would cost you to buy one unit of home country currency. For instance, a quotation between INR and UST dollar point zero zero one two and dollar point zero zero one three in New York is an indirect quotation for rupee. In this quote, the home country currency INR is one, and foreign country currency UST is expressed in number of units. This is what we call indirect quotation. Also, this indirect quotation is called as 
the quotation in american terms the last type of currency quotation is cross rates usually the interbank market quotes currencies against us dollar this is mainly to avoid having quotation for all the currencies in the world hence we can find currency quotation in interbank market only between all currency and us dollar for non us dollar currencies the exchange rate can be derived from their respective dollar exchange rates the rate so derived is called as cross rates for example we have here quotation for indian rupee per us dollar and us dollar per gbp but we do not have quotation for inr per gbp the inr per gbp are non us dollar currencies but we have their respective dollar currency rates so from these dollar exchange rates we can derive exchange rate between inr and gbp that is great britain pound through this simple equation we can derive both bid and ask rate for inr and gbp set the equation in such a way that it removes the common currency the common currency here is ust then substitute the values of inr per ust and ust per gbp separately for bid and ask rates then you will get exchange rate between inr per gbp as 94.375 and rupees 98.410 the first one is bid rate and the second one is ask rate this is how we derive cross rates for non us dollar currencies care should be taken while substituting the values in the equation because sometimes we have to take the reciprocal of the given currency if the quotes are different one in that case bid will become ask and ask will become bid rate i presume that this lengthy discussion on currency quotation and its types with simple example was uh, useful to you still shall you have any queries related to this topic please feel free to approach me thank you so much and have a great day